Earlier this year, the International Summary of Climate Science announced that we face increasing disasters and disruptions with the most vulnerable, suffering the most and the soonest. A leaked report from the same UN process identified the need for a transformation in our economic systems for a meaningful attempt to limit loss and damage. Yet at the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow, no plan for a justice-based economic transformation was launched. Worse, voluntary business commitments distract from the economic policies necessary to reduce atmospheric carbon and prepare for worsening disruption. That is despite decades of voluntary initiatives not delivering significant impacts on the climate. It is both unscientific and unethical to deny that our economic system is at fault. And so that's what must be transformed to reduce climate risk and adapt to the difficulties. To ignore that reality, plans are afoot to waste huge sums of money on energy-hungry, yet atmospherically insignificant carbon capture machines. Political leaders could instead level with their populations about the necessary changes in industries and lifestyles. Respecting climate justice, they could take immediate steps to reduce inequality, both nationally and globally, key for any changes in livelihoods to be fair and lasting. We are hundreds of schoolers from dozens of countries who are grieving the situation, but determined not to ignore it. We believe that the corporate capture and the failure at COP26 mean that people in organizations and communities must lead our own emergency response. That includes coordinated radical policy advocacy from outside of a corporate-driven system for a real green revolution that will significantly reduce and draw down emissions. Regenerate nature and help us adapt. It also includes growing community-led deep adaptation efforts independently of governments and transnational corporations. The hot air from Glasgow means it's time for more honest and radical leadership. We must call out the fantasy that dangerous global heating will not get worse or that the largest corporations will come to our rescue. When we escape such delusion, we can contribute to a different way forward, one we hope governments will join when they escape the constraints of business as usual.